1624-30 panel. Scene 1. Reverend John White, Puritan vicar of Holy Trinity in St. Peter's at Dorchester, Dorset, rides hither and yon in Dor- Scene 2. The congregations of Reverend John Warham and Reverend John Maverick in Exeter begin to be interested in emigration. In London, Sir John Wollstoneholm is appointed commissioner to wind up the old Virginia Company. Scene 3, 1625, March the 27th. King James I dies at his home at Theobalds near London. 1626, February. Charles, son of King James I, is officially crowned at Westminster. 1628, June. John Endicott of Chagford, Devon, journeys to Weymouth in Dorset and boards the Dorchester Company's ship, Abigail, bound for New England. Scene 4. John Endicott becomes governor of Massachusetts. A bigoted killjoy, he chops down the maypole, forbids the wearing of long hair by young men, and flogs or hangs people who deviate from his narrow-minded religious views. Thomas Morton is the complete opposite, a rake and a hell-raiser who sells guns and liquor to the Indians. Another Dorchester Company ship is sent to New England, the Lion's Whelp. Scene 5, March the 28th. John White holds a day of prayer in the Hospital of the Poor's Portion in Plymouth with the Dorchester Company settlers. They sail the next day bound for the company's territory in Massachusetts, but White does not go with them. Weeks later, the colonists arrive at Nantasket Point at the entrance of what will become Boston Harbour. There they are dumped and have to make their own way across the bay to Mattapan to start their new settlement in New England. Scene 